Let me see. Right then, <coughs> I decided to go to and approach the church from a different route, which I haven't done before. So I've come up a little lane as if I'm going to Laburnum House, past this cottage, which has probably been here for a while. And um, I've come across this little tiny narrow lane, of course. With all the wild cow parsley out at the moment and then we come across the little bridge which I'd recognized before which is going to take us to the church so we go across this little bridge look this is all for Jan in uh, Australia and um, also people like Paul Kingston whose ancestors also lived around here um, and there'll be other people as well. So I'm in a field now. I've been up Withy Lane, or Withy Road. There's a new, well there's a council estate there. Um, and I forgot to look at the photograph of D Janet. I hadn't got around to it yet, but the thing is, I think it's all been redeveloped. So, um, anyway, I'm just walking around this field. I'm going to do a nice walk down by a river. Um, after I've done the church bit, um, which I couldn't do with the bike. I, well, I might have been able to do it with the bike, I'm not sure. But anyway, I've got a nice view of the church from the back here, look. Which I haven't taken any photographs. So I might pop out later and do some more. Now over there I can hear a banging noise. There's obviously clay pigeon shooting going on over there. And I can actually see someone up on a some sort of cherry picker or that could be the thing that releases the um, the saucer things you know anyway so here's a nice view of St Peter and All Hallows Church West Huntsville which has been renovated over the last couple of years it had been previously in much further back in time um, also suffered with fire damage and uh, hence you've got the very pink red looking pillars inside as a result of uh, ferrous oxide a result of extreme heat that discolors the um, the pillars which is quite a nice feature now that little cottage there, I would say that's probably been there quite a long time and could have been here when the Hollies were here. It would have been a small community in those days and most people would have known each other. Uh, another thing I forgot to do when I come, before I came up, was just check on other surnames that could be listed in this graveyard. But it is a nice church. I'll try and take as many pictures as I can if I find these Holly graves. And um, and then I, I can, I'm probably going to have to have another visit um, if I f find other, other names and their graves would have been here but I didn't know who they were because I haven't looked at associated families yet you see. I should have done that before I came out. Um, I was so eager to get out I forgot to do what I, some of the checks I normally do but not to worry. Um, I do want to come out again. There's another way across there. Look, another track that someone could use. Um, I think Laburnum House was a, it's a big house. It's a hotel. Um, it's used for conferences. It's got an indoor swimming pool. People have their parties, weddings, all sorts there. I've been there a few times in the past. I went for a, when I used to play hockey for Burnham Ladies. I, we used to have a meal out there. We went in the pool and everything. Um, and when I worked at the villa, look, when I was doing my mental health training, um, I used to come out here on a bike sometimes with some of the, the, the patients, if you like. I don't know what you call them really, because they weren't really patients as such. They were out in the community, and I'd cycled out there. It's not very blue, the sky. It's quite warm. There's hardly any wind. And um, I've got my umbrella just in case. 
Now, because I'm a football person, my my team, Chelsea, are playing in the Champions League, which is the biggest European Cup final there is. And they're playing um, Bayern Munich tonight. I've come over on the bus as opposed to bike, so I can do a bit of rambling. You can't do it all with a bike. I know I've got a mountain bike, but you can't do it all. Um, but part of this visit is for Jan in Australia, where she's got close family here, close in time, the Hollies, and there will be others. I will check the other names another time, and I'm sure I'll be out here again. It does look a bit overgrown at the moment, but I do see a couple of people that are doing a bit of gardening. Anyway, I'm going across another narrow bridge here, look. Across nothing there. Ewes and lambs, please keep all dogs and keep to paths. So here we are, look, I'm in the, yes, very overgrown compared to last year. Somebody's just been to t tender a grave. There's probably people still in this village, Jan. I'm referring to Jan, a uh, removed cousin in Australia who shares our Oak family from Cambridgeshire and Elsdens. Um, there are probably people still, could still be people in this village connected to you. To be quite honest, you probably know if there are as well. But if that was the case, they'd probably just be able to send you this information themselves, wouldn't they? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a little bit of a scan. Like I said, I, because I haven't got associated names, there could be people I'm passing now that are connected to you. Um, I've done quite a few graves here in the past. So I'm going to go round in a clockwise direction. I'm just going to go just to this to about here as a reference point and I'm looking at Haggets and Hearns. There's lots of Lees in here as well um, and Vowels is a very common name in this place. Um, so I'll just call them Alum, um, Care, let's call out a few names, Haggart. Um, like I said, there might be associated names Ah, now, hold on. Look what I found straight away, everybody. Somebody's already been here and done this. H. Arthur Holly. 16 of the 3rd, 1919 to 18th of the 6th, 2000. D. I. Rini Holly. 29th of the 5th, 1912 to 2000. Greatly missed and loved by all, now safely in God's keeping. So there we are, there's a grave straight away. Someone's already been here, look, and tidied this grave up. Then you've got Arthur Holly over there, who died the 23rd of November, 1953, aged 65 years. Then Helen Ruth Holly, who died the 11th of March 1969, aged 75 years, at rest. So there we are, we've got three so far. And that's within seconds of entering the graveyard. It's very interesting, isn't it? Behind there you've got a Henry John Gibson Hobbs, known as Jack. There might be other hollies here, there might be other families with different names, which I didn't do. Which I didn't do, but I just survey round here, because it was here last year I found a fat crawl grave for somebody else I know. I found the fat crawls and they're, over, they're just here. Um, so people are still visiting this one. So what I'm just going to do a little scan around these. There's the rear view of the holly graves there, look. And they've been recently pruned, the grass there, and new flowers placed. Someone could have been here a moment ago and I've just missed them. So you've got webs and haggots. Coolie. 
Who have we got here? Some people don't always know sometimes that you've got other relatives in the graveyard. Sometimes only feet away. If you haven't done your tree, you might not renew that, you see. So I'm coming back to them again, just giving another view of them before I start taking photos. I just wondered if Jan in Australia is aware that somebody's looking after these graves. You see? I'm just going to turn off for a minute to take some photos, over and out. 